What is up, everybody? My name is Puns, as always, back with your daily deck tech now in a metagame dominated by Zenon and Rakana. One man has decided to go absolutely balls to the wall crazy and play a 20 merchant surprise combo. Um, of course, this deck was piloted by WSG Auto at the last EZQ, barely squeaked into top 64. Um, if you went all the way down the list of people who made it there. And I saw this, and I realized I had to play it, because um, this deck is just kind of crazy. Now, if you don't know what the, uh, what the combo is, it actually revolves around um, Curtain Call. And there's not just one combo in here. There are two combos with Curtain Call. Um, I guess, just in case one does not work. Um, the first combo you can actually pull off is actually more difficult to do. Um, you can actually pull it off at the same turn, though, instead of having to wait a turn, um, for defensively with, uh, Kindo here. But, um, basically revolves around being able to get Belligerent Yeti and Stain Honor in play at the same time, and playing down Curtain Call to be able to, um, ping their face infinitely, because you just keep hitting that button. You just keep tap, 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 tap on that Belligerent Yeti, and you, you dome them for an infinite amount of life. But the other combo in this deck revolves around Tome of Horror, Kindo Shadow Step. Now, when you get Kindo Shadow Step in play and have Tome of Horror out, um, you just keep dealing damage with him, and you keep milling cards, and Curtain Call makes sure that Kindo Shadow Step doesn't die. I've actually gotten him to absurd minuses here. Um, and yeah, that's, that's how you win the game. This is a... Uh, and to do that, we do have the incredible market here of 20, 20 smugglers. Well, 20 merchants, and say. Um, and, of course, we have Jotun Hurler and Zoe, the Endless Horde, to, to, which are great market fodder. Because we're never actually going to cast a Zoe in this game. We're just going to throw him into the market um, and draw that card here, too. Um, I like the petition here, too, because sometimes you just need to get the correct color. Because you want to make sure that we have that... Uh, that Double shadow and quadruple time in order to be able to cast curtain call, get that advantage of units can't be killed this turn. So you want to make sure uh petition is a great way to make that happen. Um strategize because we're gonna have a ton of stuff we're gonna bottom here. Um and so yeah, this is the uh <laughs> this is uh the power. I didn't I didn't make the power base, but it seems pretty good. You actually have access to the Elysian Silex and the Xenon Silex, um, which is just really nice. And being able to have the time symbol to make sure you have that quadruple time. Another great target petition. This is a very complicated deck to play. Uh, a lot of a lot of decisions um, to make early on. But you want to make sure that you're getting... Because it requires three cards to be taken out of the market. And so you want to make sure that you're um, you're picking a plan sticking with it. You're, from my understanding, from my, my limited experience with the deck, you generally want to go for the Kindo plan. Um... Because it, it seems a little easier, but Belligerent Yeti, if they if they are low enough health, like if you if you've gotten in some chip damage with the with your basically your your merchant package, Belligerent Yeti can actually finish the game quicker. But if they're like a control deck at full health, you gotta go with the Tome of Horrors. Um another nice little inclusion here is the Savage Denial, which um keeps your guys alive. Um uh, keeps keeps um a lot of times ways of in of uh Interacting with Kindo Shadow Step is with removal, instant speed removal, and if you have that Savage Denial, you're really keeping them off of it. But, but yeah, that's exactly. Let's go throw it in some games, cause oh boy, this is a certainly a deck. But uh, as you see, I've not been playing that much. All all things considered, I have been uh, I've been very busy with work, but. Can, can we take down... Oh, this is just a bad hand. <laughs> we don't negotiate with one-landers, ever. Um, I suppose we can work with this. We need to get some time out of the deck. So, uh, we don't actually have any merchants, but I still think we have to keep it. Um, I, and I also... The Snowball just is very good at taking down certain things. Now, we, we lead with the this to make them think that, ooh, that's actually pretty good. Um, 
Because we just need merchants at this point. If Maybe I should have bought them that because we actually don't have a merchant in hand. We played 20 of them. Like, almost a third of our deck is merchants here. But I like playing it safe here. Um, I wish Petition was instant speed, though. Um, we're going to do this. Um, I think we're going to pull a Silex, to be honest. Um, the, the Xenon Silex, because we're going to get there. Um, because that gets us, I mean, we are, we're, we're perfectly fixed right now, um, which is always good. Um. See what they do. We'll see if they're actually control here. Because if they're control, we're great. Because combo does fantastic against control. Um, we're going to throw out a Silex. Um, ooh. Um, no, sir. I prefer you not. Gotcha. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's real not good. Um. Well, um. Throw this back for sure to get, um, all right. Part of me wants to get a piece out of this. Um, I don't want to get the curtain call because we only have one and he totally plays turn to seed here. Um, but we could go get just belligerent Yeti or stained on her. Um, we don't have any face ages, which is a problem. Um, I think we're gonna need to go with the um, start with the tome strategy because we actually utilize it. Because if you get tome into play, <clears throat> it allows for a. I know someone's gonna turn to seed here, uh, but good thing we play at least twenty merchants. <clears throat> and this uh, Silix is gonna draw us a card. Uh, the Zenith Silix is gonna draw us a card. Okay, that's fine. Um, you can only get one of those. Uh, backup! We have the backup um, combo. So this is a good thing we didn't get the... Um... It's actually kind of cool that um, we, uh, we have backup combos here. Because I have never, like... W when my combo has died, it's always been like, Yep, that's it. We're done. Unless he's got a reread. Um, and that snowball is actually going to help us. Uh, he's never going to see the backup combo coming. I guess that's the importance of having the backup combo. Is all right. He's. Okay. Um. Okay, so we're gonna play this down. Throwback. Um, here I think we still get, um, stained honor. Uh, I know we can get curtain call. That might be more important, but we just need a blue merchant to get. Um, all right, so now we're going to, ooh, that's our second blue, um, still think we want it, because we're, we're kind of good on, on stiff. We might just take on the beatdown plan here, um, it's fine. Could have ice bolted my own guy there. Um, that actually might have been better to do that. Um, cool. Learn to seek power. 
interested in seeing that that horror control play the seek power because um I could just do this to go get primal out of our deck um to benefit the silix nah um All right, so now we get to play this to go get the, um, I believe here we get Belligerent Yeti. Um, throw that back to get, um, I think Belligerent Yeti is a better target right now. Um, and yeah, we'll enter. All right, we just need to find a shadow. We have we have more shadow left in our deck than we have um, primal. Stormlight life, that's fine. Sure. Um, I'm actually going to uh, ice bolt this to get our second. Get our primal out of there. Is that feeds to the Silix? Um, I think that's exactly where we want to be because it allows us to draw drawing cards here. And then out the deck as well because we've got to find that uh, that merchant because then we can uh. There. Oh man, no curtain! I should have gotten the other one. Ugh, that hurts. I should have gotten the uh, the curtain call. Um, all right. Um, I still think we're gonna play this down because we're gonna throw back the ice bolt to get. Kind of get Kindo here, honestly. Um. Maybe we do mill him out from stuff. Um, that's fine. <sighs> okay, we gotta find that. <laughs> I'm punished by my decisions! That is the one that we did not want to see. Um, Alright, Silix. Draw me a card. God, those Silics are so good. Okay. Not the end of the world. We're actually going to do that. Um... Because, I mean, we're going to be able to snowball next turn. Okay. I think Kiddo was a good get, though, at least. Having, um... There we go. Do we have the combo here? Um... Hold on. Um... I believe we do have the combo. Um... We have to actually send back the snowball. Um... We wanted to bait out removal here, if he's got it. Because. Okay. Um. All right, we broke the face ages. Play this. Throw this back to get curtain call. And we are... Oh, shit. I, I, I was one power off. I shouldn't have, uh... I forgot that I was one power... I shouldn't have held on to that. That was, a. Uh... Maybe we'll get him to, to use something to kill Sha Kindo here. Alright. Um... Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh...
Yep, I messed up. That was entirely me. I actually don't mind even post this game because I messed up so bad. All right. Um, I fucked up. I messed up that game. I I lost it for myself. The deck. I let the deck down. I let the deck down of that persistent. I had everything. I had everything I needed. I had everything, guys. I even had the, the savage. Why did I do that on the stun on that guy? I should have had. I should have assumed it for like that. I really, the, I screwed the pooch on that one. But as I said, this is a good example of how being a shitty player can influence playing a deck. And I am a shitty player. Um, no, not quite, not quite what you want to see there. Um, play that down because that uh, turns on the Silix for next turn. Uh, we need to get Shadow Influence. I, I'm still kicking myself over that last game, how poorly I, I, I played. I guess it's, I'll chalk up to a little bit of my inexperience with the deck, but you can't, uh, fault a, a, um, let's see, we go for, I guess I go for Tomo Horrors, honestly, um, like, any mistake, I, any, like, decision that I made that was bad, don't do that, like, I can serve as a warning for people, you know, Like, don't be as terrible as a player as I am. All right, so, um, we're actually gonna do this. Um, do we keep him there? Yeah, why not? Um, we have our third merchant here, so I don't think we actually need this. Um, I'm actually going to annihilate that so that we uh we hold him off a power. I think that's more important in this position here. Um Ouch. Um Upsat. Really hurts. Now I really regret bottoming that um Uh we do get to Tome of Horrors here. And we're going to treasure trove because position really doesn't matter here. Okay, so we have that. Um, we have our market fodder. Oopside is a hell of a card. Um, no blocks here. He actually had it too, so that was part of it too. Is you actually have to have the card. Oh, he has another merchant here too. All right, so now we're going to um, get a treasure trove here. Um, Ice bolt's good. Um, petition. Let's get a Silix here. Um, either one will do. But I guess we wanted that one. So, um, really, the ice bolt's nice here. Um, cool. I know he gets a power here, but... Okay, so now we're going to get to Crest of Cunning here. We like that. Um... Play this. Send this back to get 
Um, I think we went Kindo, honestly, because um, we got we got the uh, Tome of Horrors before, and if he's got another oops out here, then I quit the game. I know we're not completely out of it. If he's got another oops at, but. There's nothing that can negate that ability, too. Growing up burden, sure. Alright, um. Let's see here. Let's mill in some cards. Okay, um. That is the last piece of our puzzle here. So, we're going to play this. Throw back to get the curtain call. And as long as he doesn't oops on us here. Um, actually, oh man, do I even play oops? Do I even play Kendo here? Because, I mean, I kind of like doing this. Just sending up another body in play. I know he gets another, um... As long as he doesn't have oops out here, we should win. Cool. We and <sighs> That's unfortunate. Um... Cool. We're gonna block here. Um, yes. I think we'll do this. Oh, that's fantastic. Um. Oh, we need to play Kindo here. And end turn. Oh, we're holding up the Savage Denial in case he's removal. Um. Um. Okay. Did we get there? Oh my god, we got there! Oh my gosh. There we go, we got there. Yes! Oh, that feels so good! Oh, man. <clears throat> you know, let's just do this. We'll draw a card here. Alright, and turn. Alright, we got there. We beat the big bad of the format. We, we got around two Oopsots. And I good that we milled one of them. That was our first one of the day as well. Um, see what happens when you don't play the deck poorly. <laughs> and we got a daily quest out of the way too. Excellent. All in one game. And there's our daily bonus pack. Uh, speaking of which, um, now that we actually have it, I should probably actually talk about the card real quick. Um... Let's open up this pack real quick. I'm, uh, see what I get. Inspiring leadership. Yeah. But, um, this bad boy. Whoo! Because I got friends here. You no know, places. Uh, giving you that plus four, plus four this turn. And plunder. If you've got a ungodly amount of fire, play 4 1 rustlings. If you've got a godly amount of justice, Play a unit with cost four or less from your top four cards of your deck and give it ages and bottom the best. What is going on? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Oh man, I can't wait to get more of that card. And let's play one more game with our um double combo deck.
but yeah, that card just looks ridiculous right now because I mean, oh my god, is it is it crazy? Um, but yeah, it's a little cute time. Are people not playing Throne today? Oh, we got there, though. Feels Batman to get there, though. Um, Yeah, this, this plays. I mean, we've got three merchants and a lot of power. Uh, we were missing a second shadow, but other than that, I think we are... Uh, we need the second shadow of Curtain Call. But other than that, we are in the gravy... And it's like a primal, other than a... Um, we're, actually, we're actually set on smugglers. Um, unless we get... Oops, sodded. Which, oh, that card is backbreaking. Okay, no, they're Rakano. Good to know. Should you okay against Rakano? Um, Could have played uh, Silix there to get a influence to for. Ouch, he is. They are. They are getting that influence. Uh, I think we play this. Um, now the question is, do we go into the well here for? Um, I think we can throw back, um, probably Great Valley here to get, um, I'm really all in on this, on this Tobo Horrors plan, because, uh, I, I, I think it comes down easier than the other one does, and... Cool. Cool. Silver Blade Intrusion. My guess is he has like a torch or something, but we'll still block. I mean, there's no reason. Reason he probably has a torch, but it's fine. As long as that torch isn't going face, then we should be good. Oh, he discarded the justice etchings. Ah, Sadidi, got it, got it. All right. Um, uh, we have the ice bolt, which is good. Um, do we want to keep that? I guess we keep this because this is market fodder and card draw. Um. I know this ran some of power, which is never good, but we at least avoided him drawing extra cards. I I'd rather him not get the extra cards here than um, essentially that. But because this extra will be able to play the, um, we're gonna get the second package here. We're going to play down the Tome of Horrors and make sure we get the right thing. Get Kindo out of the markets. Ugh, he has plunder. It's never good. Um, but he does exhaust him to go to the market there. So that's at least gives us some more uh, leeway for another... Um, We use Blight Pass to get um, Kindo. Or maybe I'd go get for a Curtain Call. Maybe I'd... Well, that's fine. I don't care that much. Um, I know he gets to... Uh... Alright. To play this, throw back Zoe to get um, Kindo. 
and play one of these. Uh, play this down so it's less things we actually have to do. Um, I know he gets two cards, which is unfortunate, but... I believe we have the win here if we if he can't kill us now. Um actually no we don't have the win because we have to Okay. <coughs> Is that the C D D? Okay. Never good. Not good. Um, so we have this. I wish I could also play... Um, f it's unfortunate that I can't actually play Kindo in the same turn. But... Does... It would be unfortunate if he could just kill me in the air here. But... Where to get the curtain call? Um, permafrost. Oh, that's great. That really helps. Um, probably double blocks me here, but oh, that actually really helps. Um, It's fine. All right. I do believe we have it. Um, ooh, good. He got rid of Trickshot Ruffian. That's a card we don't want to see. Um, I, I guess that would probably kill me had he drawn it. <sighs> Yikes. Ugh. All right. Um, oh, there he, he found it. Ah, that card is so fucking frustrating. We had, we had him next turn, dead rights, but... Well, that is the day's, um... This day's daily deck tech. Uh, not exactly how we would have wanted it to go, but, you know, Rakano's a thing. We did... Ooh, and we even got a diamond chest out of it. The game felt sorry for me. Uh, game one, we could have won, but... Again, the worst player. And, but game two, we actually did get that win. We beat the Zenith attack in game three. You know, trick shot ruffian. What are you going to do? But thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Check out the video. Um, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to get updates when I'm posting. Um, make sure you're following me on Twitter, at WhatWestWatches. And uh, let me know what deck I should cover next, because I kind of don't want to cover the Rikano deck. I don't want to cover the Zenith deck either. I want to cover some new, some cool decks like this double combo deck. Um, because I enjoy playing decks like this. I enjoy playing interesting decks. Um, and Rakano and Zenon are not the interesting decks right now. Maybe we'll cover Arch Report tomorrow, because I think, uh, this deck is pretty neat. And, or I'll probably play around with it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.